Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTD5. Let's continue with the updated NALPS series, a series where I'm going to do all the maps in Impopable without using offensive special agents, lab upgrades, special buildings, and premiums. So, double cash, healthy bananas, bigger beckons. Um, let's continue with the expert maps. I just the very last one um, to complete. And it's actually a pretty recent map that has been added for a spath. So let's go here in Pobble. Uh, and with this map, we're back again to the kind of maps where there are two different paths, but they get close to each other in a certain point. In this case, this area. So if you place towers around this area, uh, yeah, you should be fine. So that's how it works. It's pretty simple. In these cases, I always recommend starting with an engineer. Um, it has decent attack speed, decent range, decent piercing, especially for the bottom path, as you can see, popping up to three balloons sometimes. So pretty good. Um, but of course, it's not going to be enough. So uh, I'm gonna have to get a dark monkey there, zero zero in strong to focus the blues with most layers. In this case, the blues, uh, because the engineer alone cannot survive until round four. The problem though with this is that round six has some greens at the beginning, four of them. So many times from this side, some blues sneak through. Oh, but this time uh, it didn't happen. So uh, that's nice. So that means that I can already get the 1-0 grid for the engineer right now. Uh, so the mid round 6. So yeah, the round 6 really depends sometimes. Uh, the position of like the engineer, um, it's, it's in a way that you cannot actually pop all the greens. Some of the times it, it is. I don't really know what. A uh, real significant difference of the position of the engine, maybe more to the left or more to the right. But yeah. Now with the sentry guns, everything becomes easier. So I should be able to survive until I can get a farm 1 0. So at the end of this round, should be enough cash. Yeah. So let's place this. Um, okay. And let's get the farmer. Very important though, I place this farmer so that this part of the range of the farmer doesn't step onto the path. Otherwise, he's going to place the bananas here, the banana basks, and the balloons are going to just bounce back and forth without having any tower popping them, and that's just bad. So, uh, yeah, don't do it. Round 13. Okay. Yeah, just be careful where the yellow, the first yellows come out, but then uh, it should be fine. And now here should be also fine to get another that monkey in strong. Zero, zero. In this round, round 14, more, even more yellows. So having two Dark Monkeys to zero, it's almost a guarantee that uh, you're able to pop them all. Okay. Unfortunately, the sentry gun's position is pretty random, so you cannot actually choose it. They spawn randomly. So sometimes uh, that's a bad thing. Yeah, for example, here. Actually, uh, the blue leaked from the top side. Wait, what? Oh, that's unlucky. So I'm going to just restart the round. Hopefully, the sentry guns this time are going to be placed better. I really do not want to use raw specs for this round. This is such a random round. So yeah, let's hope now the sentry guns are going to be placed better. Yeah, again, this one is placed pretty bad. So I'm going to just prevent every every leak by just placing one set of specs earlier beforehand. Uh, and 
here again. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's just unlucky, I presume. Okay, that's another farm. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just don't upgrade anything, and for these last green rushes, I'm gonna just use one set of prospects. Yeah, that should be fine. Nice. So I can get now the farm one zero and boom. Now, very important, start upgrading one of the dark monkeys. I prefer upgrading the one in the right side. Uh, I think it has a slightly better position to pierce through, but uh, yeah, choose whatever of the two. It's pretty much the same. And now starting this round and boom, getting the upgrade mid round. That's it. Can I pop everything here? Yeah, these pinks are pretty fast, so they're pretty annoying. Sniperino. In strong, unlimited range, pretty decent, uh, especially because in these occasions, for example, just one blue bloom leaking, I should have used Rospex, but because I have the sniper, I can actually pop it without placing anything. So that's great, especially when just is just one bloom leaking. Next round is the camo round, but. Uh, yeah, it's a lot better to just get uh, a farm instead here you're, you're getting cash now from the farms because there is only one balloon in this round and boom you pop it with raw specs that's why i think it's the best way to pop the camera on 24 so then this way, in this way you have three farms now a one zero and uh, sniper one zero and that monkey two three for these zebras here at the very end it should be enough but i'm going i'm going to go slow just in case yeah it's enough now for this round i just recommend placing two set of rospects for these yellows at the very beginning uh, because uh sometimes the depending on the centrigan's position uh, they you may have some yellows leaking so it's just better to place the the rospex beforehand in the intersection so you pop both blooms coming from the paths and yet yeah, you don't have any further problems i placed two set of rospects probably just one was enough but uh, yeah it, it really depends on the position of the centrigans how many uh, rospects you uh, use you need and that's random so Okay, round 28, no problem, having already a sniper 1-0, that I'm gonna get 1-1 um, one, one, most likely, because in this round I should not be able to get enough cash. Yeah, so I'm gonna do... Um, I'm gonna do a quick thing here, I'm gonna upgrade the sniper 1-1 one, one before this round, so in this way I can even should be able to finish this round without even uh, using Rospex because the sniper is going to attack faster. Here we go, 1-1. One, one. Let's see how it goes now. Especially for the regrowth at the end. Let's see. Come on. Yes, nice. See, no Rospex use. used. Uh, you need actually the sniper uh, 1 1 for round 30, otherwise, you cannot pop all the leads. So, um, remember that. Now, I'm gonna get the sniper, the, the sniper, the other the monkey 1 3. And in this round, the only problem are the leads at the very end. Uh, the sniper 1 1 should be able to pop them all, but Depending on the timing of the pop, uh, you may need raw specs or not. So let's see. Okay, 
Okay, nice. Well, it went better than expected. Now that I have two Dark Monkeys to three, I'm going to place this right one to first. And uh, these camos uh, should not be any big deal. As this round. All right. Now for round 35, the first um, rainbows. I'm gonna add a tower that is gonna be helpful for the damage, but as well for the camos. Thinking already, for example, round 37, the camo whites at the end. That's why I'm going with a ninja, a 2 1 ninja. And as well, here for these rainbows, I'm gonna use here. Okay. Three sets of Rospex I think I used totally. So, uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna get just the ninja here, three, one. And I'm gonna set place two set of rospects for these pinks, and boom, that's that's it. I'm gonna get here the last two zero farm, and as well, I'm gonna also start placing some gluganos here to have some slow going on and popping as well. Yeah, here. Yeah, I lost. I lost in the top side. Yeah, my bad. Um, I'm going to just restart the round and do it again. Unfortunately, the leads literally killed me. So I don't think um, I may be able to actually get the farm to zero. I may need uh, to get the glue gun right away. So... Yeah, otherwise the leads are going to be a problem. So, yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't want to risk losing again for leads. So, 2-1 glue gunner here. And actually for the for this side, I'm going to wait. So, I'm slowing down one path. Uh, so, yeah, this should be definitely... Okay, let's see now. Yeah, now I can pop all the leads with enough timing. And yeah, as you can see now, I can pop everything. Careful here, the white blooms. Yeah, okay, nice. Two zero. Getting the other glue gunner for this other path. And actually here, especially when the leads start coming out, prepare some Rospex to pop these pinks regrowths. These pinks are going to be a pain. So, yeah, here we go. Nice. Yeah, just three sets of Rospex. Three or four. I don't know how many I used, but yeah, it's important. All right. Now, the fun... Pretty much the early game is almost over. Just getting here a village. Um, and uh, actually, can I pop all these leads though? I should be able to, right? Yeah. Okay. I was almost too scared there. Blue Shipper. Uh, two zero. Why not? And it should be in range of both paths almost. Village zero one. Uh, and that prune cheaper should have enough range to suck in the four ceramics. Let's see. These ones. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. So the hardest part of the strategy has is over. Now it's just some brief 
uh, and some key rounds adjustments but you should be fine farm three zero very important for round 42 preparing prospects for the rainbows camo here we go i don't know how many used but uh, it's better go safe than sorry okay cool another farm three zeros i'm already set up to get the factory and now i'm just getting the upgrades to get the balloon shipper 4-2 for round 46 uh, okay. just one balloon there leaking okay boom that's the balloon shipper for the mob very important now for round 47 getting another balloon shipper and getting the ninja 4-2 so let's see if i can do both uh, yeah i don't think i'm gonna have enough cash but unfortunately i don't have either enough range um okay whatever i'm gonna just get it here i guess gonna start the round get the ninja upgraded i have already the village zero one so these shurikens are popping a ton of balloons and i'm gonna just place one set of rust picks there in the top path just in case some balloons pass but yeah, it shouldn't be the case the ninja is super strong so that's it now getting pretty nice bomb here i'm gonna get this brun cheaper upgraded though zero two to have more range uh but now yeah getting the bomb three two it's a priority for round 49 plus as well getting another brun cheaper that i'm gonna get here zero two as well and now start to get the village uh two one should be able to get it mid round before the ceramics come out yeah here we go everything now attacks faster so that should all that should be all the damage i need to pop this ceramics around 49 and boom that's it so the next step is the factory that I should be able to get it even now. So let's get it around 50. All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start upgrading this brand cheaper now at 4 2. 4 round 54 for the increased amount of mobs plus of course because of the fact that the blooms from both paths get concentrated from the blue shippers is actually a pretty nice tower to get a uh, boomerang 3-0 actually deals a ton of damage uh, and just in case for 54 as well i'm gonna just get one more blue shipper here Oops. Zero two. Okay. That should be it for round fifty-four. Really, there is no way that blooms could sneak could uh, sneak through there. Um. And yeah, that's it. So after round fifty-four ends, uh, you have pretty much survived the early game of the of the map and that means that everything becomes easier from now on especially if you have already a factory and if you have a setup like this one you, you just need to remember some key rounds like round 59 the camo leads 
around 63 the rushes around 65 a lot of two bfps at the end so just to remember that i'm gonna get the village here to two another farm through zero and i should be able to get the factory for next round so boom actually um yeah okay let's go like this so that's the factory and as well i'm gonna start upgrading the third print cheaper for two for the bfp but as well for around 63 64 65 and so on I'm going to replace though here the farms. Uh, I'm going to upgrade them just to zero. And uh, the next step is actually selling all of this Luganers, snipers, all of that stuff. Getting a single glue gunner here and uh, i always prefer going with a 3-2 glue gunner because of the fact that um, the glue gunner in range of a village and with a 0 to upgrade can already glue pretty much all the blooms so you don't really need to the 2-3 upgrade to have the glue gunner to like glue faster because you're already gluing pretty much all the blooms. So the only thing you need is actually the, um, uh, the popping power of the glue. Now the glue is gonna as well pop and do a lot of damage to the blooms, not only uh, slow them, but as well popping them. So as well, it's uh, an increased damage for like the ceramics. And that's why I like more the 3-2 upgrade with these kind of uh, setups and uh, strategies. So three Brune Shippers, uh, I have a 3 to ice tower of course to add more control to the, to the rounds. That's the third factory. I'm going to get a 4-2 bomb and I'm going to start upgrading this fourth brown chipper for on 64 and 65 placing the last farm um, and uh, naturally here getting the two three village before getting the last factory but then yeah, I'm going to start going fast forward here because there is literally uh, nothing to worry about. Should be able to get the factor here for this round. Okay. Um, and from now on, I'm going to just sell this engineer because I don't want that to have the sentry guns like in the way. And now it's just placing uh, a few more brune chippers, not a lot of them. Don't place a ton of brune chippers. Just place some more to be sure that you can pop uh, the map class blooms early enough. And as well, try always to place the Brune Shippers so that they can cover the intersection of the two paths so that they can suck the mobs coming from both sides. And then uh, I think that not getting Brune Shippers, it's a good idea if you have other towers that can actually deal a ton of damage to the Bloons. So in this case, 
for example i'm gonna get some super monkeys i'm gonna get some um aces some helis so all that extra damage that i'm gonna do is gonna be uh doing damage to the map clue Mob class balloons themselves as well. So, actually, here I want to first the two three tower. I just want to save the spot before placing the super monkey. Okay. Ah, yeah, and I forgot. So can you see that the balloons, once they get sucked from the balloon shippers, they like stall right here and right here uh, because of this low from the three twice tower. So uh, I think in my opinion, the best position for some two thrice towers is actually near these spots where the balloons actually uh, like freeze and stall. It seems like a pretty uh, random and bad position, but actually it's a pretty good position to get some shards proc. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I'm going to get here another uh, village because, as I said, I'm going to build as well some aces and helis back here. So that's why I need the 2 3 village. Um, Berlin range. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get as well some of these uh, super monkeys upgraded to sound gods. So, um, I want to place pretty much uh, three more towers. One is going to be a. Uh, oops. One is going to be a heli right there, exactly on top of the intersection. A 4 0 heli locked in place. So, that's one thing. Second thing is getting as well two robot monkeys, hopefully in range of this village right here, the left vi village that has the that is two four, so I can actually get the activated ability from it and power up all the towers in the range. So that's why I'm gonna build some other super monkeys there. These are gonna become uh, robot monkeys. Focusing the strongest balloons. Oh yeah, I can actually sell these factories. I don't know why I didn't de do it earlier. So, two extra robot monkeys to deal some damage. And there should be enough room here to get another race. So let's build it. Why not? And uh, that's it. I do really don't think uh, placing anything else is gonna do anything, uh, improving my situation. So yeah, as always, I'm gonna for round eighty-five. I'm gonna wait the Zomagat so layer to pop, and then I'm gonna activate the village ability. I'm gonna just take just in case the ice tower ability just in case I see some balloons uh, sneaking through you know I can always use it so let's wait here okay let's use it right now so every tower in range of the village 2 4 uh, has increased attack speed attack speed and increased piercing and as you can see yeah i just destroyed the zomegats so that's it i hope you enjoyed and see you bye bye